triple negative breast cancer can appear um, on radiographic imaging um, differently than traditional um, hormone receptor positive breast cancer. So, you know, coming up in med school and college and just even um, residency, we're taught that when you're looking at imaging, whether it's a mammogram or an ultrasound, particularly an ultrasound of the breast, and you're looking at lumps and bumps in the breast, the ones that look most suspicious are the ones that look irregular. Maybe they're taller than they are wide, they have such jagged edges, something that sort of looks sort of ominous on radiographic imaging is more likely a cancer versus something benign like a cyst, which is nice and round, or a, what we call a fibroadenoma, which is a benign growth in the breast, also nice and round on imaging. Those things traditionally were seen or perceived as benign lesions of the breast. Maybe you can monitor it, leave it alone, but ultimately they won't cause you any long-term harm. This is based on imaging. And of course, for young women, um, particularly women who are uh, premenopausal or women who have um, regular menstrual cycles, during our cycle, our breast changes. We may have increase in the number of cysts in our breasts, we may have an increase in the number or the growth of these benign fibroadenomas in our breasts. And of note, fibroadenomas are a lot more common in brown women, black women, women of color in the Philippines. Um, these fibroadenoma tumors, which may feel like little rubber balls in the breast, um, but it's a very common in younger women, women who have regular menstrual cycles. So that being said, when a young woman um, who is naive to the way her breasts feel and maybe one day decides to just do a breast exam or incidentally feels on her breast and feels a lump, when she brings that to the doctor, traditionally, that doctor is going to say, oh, you're a young woman. It's most likely a cyst. It's most likely a fibroadenoma. Did you, you just had your period? When was the end of your cycle? Don't worry about it. We'll just watch it. Those sort of excuses. Come back in a few months oh, it, it's painful, okay, take a Motrin, take a Tylenol, it's okay. The problem with that is that triple negative breast cancer radiographically could look like a fibroadenoma. Typically, once they get beyond a certain you know, size, like a small cellular level, once you can actually see them on imaging, particularly an ultrasound or whether you can feel them on physical exam, they actually look like a gumball on imaging. And even when you feel it, they can also feel like a little rubbery ball in the breast, similar to a fibroadenoma. That's how mine felt. Right. So yeah. that physical exam and ultrasound imaging can fool um, a clinician who is not, you know, cognizant of the fact that triple negative breast cancer can also present like what a fibroadenoma looks like. 